cross hatching is a very versatile design. So when we think of cross hatching, we only think about um, you know the basic cross hatch, but there's so many things you can do with a cross hatch. I'm going to show you three ways that I cross hatch these blocks using the three different methods, and then you might want to come up with your own way. And I would love to see what what you come up with. For the ruler work, I initially was going to stitch only the straight line crosshatch, so using the straight side of the mini scallop ruler. After I had those straight lines done, I just couldn't resist. I had to try the, the little scallops on the other side, so I started to play. I did some scallops on either side of the main line. And then on the other ones, I moved the scallop a little bit closer and I only went on one side of the line. You don't have to do the same thing all the way through. You can come up with your own design and see what you like. For the free motion quilting, I knew I wouldn't be satisfied with um, the results of trying to stitch a straight line. So instead, what I decided to do is a wavy crosshatch. It works the same way. You're going to start in the middle. You're going to stitch your random wave. You're going to move towards the outside, turn your piece around, move the other way. Just follow the PDF exactly the same way but you're just making wavy random lines. It's very forgiving. It gives nice coverage of the quilt. You'll notice that um, I added some extra. So I did the initial uh, wavy cross hatch as the PDF showed. And then I came back and I added in some extra lines just for a little bit more density. So. For the walking foot quilting, what I did was I followed the PDF instructions and did the initial cross hatch. Then I came back and using the width of my walking foot, I stitched a line on each side of the lines that were already there. This makes a very dynamic design that's quick and easy to do.